Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy autumn. I'm so sorry it's been so long since I last posted. I won't even go into it. Um, today I'm bringing to you a Primark haul. I've got so so much to share with you including some of my little bits that are up here. I was so excited to find some of these little bits in Primark. Um, and I also got, I'm, I'll be honest, this is a coat and jacket heavy haul. Um, I don't know why I seem to be drawn to the coats and jackets in Primark. They had some really lush finds. So let me just get straight into it. I'll start off with what was behind me. And I have these two little pumpkin candles. I have raided everywhere trying to find autumn decorations. Couldn't believe it that Primark was the place that had them. I want to say these were like £2 each. So one in gold, one in white. And they had this cracking big pumpkin ceramic thing and it was £6. I've still got the price on it there. Um, there was a few of these left so I do think if you want them they'll still be there. So I think this this is brilliant. Like how good is that for £6? Um, so this little vase that the pampas grass is in is actually from Primark. If I hold it up close you can see it. It's got that beautiful pattern on it. This was £4. I'm actually surprised that this vase was cheaper than that pumpkin. And the last little home item I got was these sort of like dried flowers, if you know what I mean. They are obviously all bunched together, some nice dark colours for autumn. So I did have them in this vase, but I kind of like the pampas grass better. So I am going to take these back. Um, they were £3.00. 50. Everyone voted on my Instagram to keep them, but I do think, personally for me, I like the Pampas better. Um, so they are going back. So I feel like I should just put all the jackets in together and then start with everything else. So da -da 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 -da. the first little blazer I have is this one. So it is actually like, is it tweet? that you say that this material is. So it's super thick, really nice quality, feels nice and luxurious. They had matching, matching shorts, however, my basket was already so full that I could not be affording to put the shorts in with them. Um, I'm totally unsure about this on me. I tried it on in store and couldn't decide. I picked up in a size six. The price was 25 pounds. So you will obviously see in the try on clip that I'm showing just now how it looks on. Um, obviously I do really love the material and stuff. I think it may be too big for me or I I'm not sure. Like I feel like if I'm saying I'm not sure then I feel like it's something that, su that I should take back. But if anyone's got any other opinions then please pop them down in the comment box below. So next up this is going to be obviously really hard to show you. On camera but it is actually like a full length really super long it's most like ankle length coat on me so I picked this up in a size 4 and it was £35 so prices have definitely gone up in Primark however the quality is really really luxurious it has just the one button in the middle and then the buckle belt here Um I feel like I'm potentially too short for a coat like this because I'm only five foot one and these coats that go down to your ankles, well it's down to my ankles, maybe it wouldn't go down to everyone else's ankles. Um, so yeah, potentially I'm thinking that I am too short for a jacket like this. Absolutely love this shoulder detail, love the way it comes away out, it looks, this just looks expensive. Um, I think you might all agree actually that this is just um, not me, but it's a shame because as I said, the quality of the coat, the colour, I just love how neutral the colour is. I really, really don't, I really dislike really warm toned nudes and this is obviously just very neutral, I love it. It's not too cream. Um, it's got pockets at the side as well which is obviously like an added bonus. Yeah, so as I said, I'm thinking probably those two jackets are going back. Moving on to two jackets that I picked up. Let me put these back together. Two jackets that I picked up that are actually from the kids section. Um, I was just walking past with my boyfriend and I was like, oh, that's the kind of jacket I need to fit that would fit me. And I was laughing. And then he was like, oh, I bet it would. And we were joking and then I thought, do you know what? Like, I'm gonna try it on. 
so it was actually like this little waterproof jacket sorry the sun's coming in i know the lights probably just changed like and it's a lot darker but that orangey light that was coming in and just making squares on my face was <laughs> not ideal so it's this little waterproof jacket i know you totally can't see it let me hold it up this little waterproof jacket you'll see it much better in the try on clips it's totally um fur lined on the inside right through to the hood now i've been needing one of these jackets for a while but spending 35 40 pounds on one of these jackets is just not what i want to spend my money on i drive in the car everywhere i'm very rarely out walking and if i am i've got on like my hat um, and my big massive jacket but my jacket is actually letting in I hate umbrellas and I want to do more adventures this year you probably already know that and this jacket is so so ideal but I obviously because I don't wear them so much I did not want to spend the money this was this is an age 12 to 13 and was 16 pounds like I actually can't believe it again the colour is so neutral not warm not cream it's just like that lovely lovely neutral color hopefully you're seeing it in the try on clip i think it fits me absolutely perfectly um doesn't drown me it's not too long the sleeves aren't too long it's a big problem that i have so i feel like i was on to a winner finding this in the kids part i also found another jacket in the kids section which was hiding behind that one and i was like that's so freaking nice and it is actually this jacket so as you can see it is obviously like a kind of white sort of cream color it's very off-white not cream off-white with black through it nice um pockets up top with the turtle shell um detailing on them such a great little jacket i've already took the tag off this was a age 14 to 15 and it was also 16 pounds it is so thick and luxurious the quality of the material is so nice um it's definitely like a heavier shirt jacket you could definitely wear it as a jacket especially given the fact that we are in that transitional period where it's not cold enough to wear a coat but it's also not warm enough to go out without wearing a jacket and then also in the winter you could totally style this up by putting a wee hoodie underneath um like absolutely brilliant it's also got pockets at the bottom which is another bonus it, it just fits me so so well and i honestly think that i will be looking in the kids section a little bit more often because this is literally my favorite buy for autumn so far i mean we've just got into autumn i shouldn't really say that this has been my favorite buy in weeks and weeks my last favorite buy was a little white dress that i got from primark months ago oh no maybe there was a machine stuff this has been my favourite buy in a while. By the way, I really hope you like my new background and where I'm filming. I'm absolutely loving it. I feel like with this, I'll probably film a wee bit more often. So I've only got two more items and I quickly picked up these leather, faux leather um, trousers. I actually thought that even if I didn't like them, my sister will probably like them. So... That's why I picked them up. They're obviously full leather. I think they might be meant to be three quarter length. However, they will definitely be full length on me and my sister. They are in a size eight and they are 17 pounds. She has since pointed out that she thinks that they will be wide leg. Well, obviously they are wide leg. Now I can see that. Um, so I'm potentially thinking that we won't like them, but I'll definitely try them on anyway. And you're probably seeing them in the clip next to me. So pockets on the back as well the material is really soft it doesn't smell um i wonder how they're going to sit on i'm curious now you are obviously seeing this before i've actually tried them on so that's the trousers and the last thing that i have in the bag is this little bib top so yeah i actually really really like the color it just comes in one size i believe I can't see a ticket. Uh huh. The ticket says it was six pounds. So I'm thinking just over the top of a little white shirt. That's literally what everyone's wearing them on top of. Not sure this is going to be me. I don't even think I've got a white shirt. I might need to try and wear one at Ian's and see if I can tuck it in enough to make it look like it's fitted because I think it would be too much material. Um. So we'll see how this looks. I'm totally not sure about this trend. It is cute. If it had. If it had a sleeve, 
Like, I would definitely love it. So let's see if I love the whole bib trend. Not sure how you're all thinking about that. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I dislike autumn and dislike autumn weather. However, I love the way the outside looks, all the crisp, the oranges, the reds, the like all the beautiful colours. I also do like how fashion looks in autumn. I just wish it wasn't so cold. I hate it. But um, so I'm looking forward to styling some more videos for you and hopefully I'll get some more out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Ciao!